Greetings, welcome to this week's Prime Insight. My name is Gavin Gooden, I'm the Marketing Director here at Blast One. Today we're going to look at vacuum loading Mega Blasters. It's a common complaint from facilities and owners of equipment in our industry of loading Mega Bolts. That's where you have an 8 tonne inside one blast pot. They're often complaining that having workers under suspended loads is very dangerous. Today Vince is going to show us a unique way you can adapt a current Mega Blaster to be a vacuum loading Mega Blaster. I'm going to show you that brains will come out and be dumped inside the Mega Blaster. If you're ordering a new Mega Blaster, you can get it pre-manufactured with vacuum fuel loading ports, which means you never have to go up on top of the Mega. You can do everything from the ground. My name is Vince Pizzotti. I'm here at Blaster One. Today we're going to go over how to vacuum load a bulk pot. We're going to be using this tool here, which is a dropout lid for the top of the uh, abrasive loading port on the Mega. How it works is your hose comes in from your bulk bag to load through the dropout. It comes out of the long tube with abrasive and air. The abrasive then falls to fill the bulk pot where it does some air come back out and into the vacuum. Okay, now as you can see, the unit is actually ready to suck, but there's a couple of things you can't forget when vacuuming. You need to make sure that your inlet port, your moisture strainer port, and the dump valve on the back of the Mega are closed so that the vessel is contained to hold vacuum. And then we're ready to vacuum. Your inlet hose is going to go into your bulk bag. From your bulk bag, it's going to go into the first section of the dropout lid with a long stem. The brace is going to drop out, then the dust Fines and air are going to go to the vacuum and they are collected for later disposal. You would use a bulk pickup tool for loading a bulk pump. And what this unit does is you just sump it right into the bulk bag of sand and it allows air to keep moving through the line so that the line doesn't completely fall. Now remember, when vacuum loading a bulk pot, it may not be the fastest way, but it's definitely one of the safest because you don't have 4,400 pounds above somebody's head. Thanks for watching this week's Prime Insight. See you next week.